Welcome back to the Opto workshop. We are now going to do episode six, which is the design and build of the battery box, which is housed the BMW hybrid cells. This is for our Opto budget EV mini conversion build. So the first job was to get the 3D scanner out and scan all the internal surfaces inside the Mini in the boot area so that we could import that cloud data into SolidWorks and we could work out the approximate sizes for quite a simple budget rectangular battery box. We have done lots of different things with battery boxes before but we actually wanted to do quite a simple rectangular box here to keep, to keep it to a budget, keep the folds down to make it a nice simple thing to fit. So when we scanned the mini boot, uh, there's certain areas that are black and or shiny. So we use talcum powder to help define the surface and it picks up better on the scanner. It's a bit of a budget hack. You can use 3D scanning powder, but it's very expensive. It gives a similar result. <laughs> in SolidWorks, we've had parts sent off the factory, they've come back folded, start to assemble it. We went for a stainless steel, brushed stainless steel finish uh, material. We went with riveted and rib nuts. This was all to keep down the number of times we need to do processes to it, so welding and painting. So there's no weld, it's all riveted and then put the top on, it's held on with the rivet nuts and normal bolts and we don't have to do a paint process because it's stainless and it still gives a nice finish so we've cut out a few processes there to keep the budget down and keep the simplicity up. So we're using the uh, drill riveter just because it makes light work of all these rivets. So we've got these brackets here which space off the bottom of the box in where the, the spare wheel was. You could, have, you could put batteries in that area but to keep it simple we haven't done, you know, otherwise you'd have a very complex box. Obviously the complexity of the box will then make the box expensive to make so we we'll to keep it simple, rectangular. So these space off, we've got rib nuts in here, these go through the floor and then we've got like an X plate spread a plate underneath uh, the boot which allows that to clamp in nicely. So because we're using big long studs, we've got these stud connectors which we're using as spacers. So introducing the rampant <laughs> So introducing the triple R double S, which is the rampant random rotational silicon shaft. <laughs> which works great. 